for sale is our 1994 Mitsubishi Kanta 6 metre motorhome. We've owned this vehicle for 24 and a half years. It has got many extras. 270 watt solar panel on the roof. Satellite dish for the TV. Large 4.5 metre awning. Stainless steel wheel trims really do make it. Moving around to the front. No rust in the cab. Stone guard. First hatch is the main power cable. That's a new gas hot water cylinder, suburban 22 litre, only fitted April this year, so it's only about six months old. LPG locker. The gas line in it is brand new. Certified self-contained. A number of extras on the back here. The most noticeable is the ladder to the roof in case you need to get onto the roof for any reason. The boot locker is extra, we had that fitted. Heaps of room in there. And a tow bar. We've used that for towing a Suzuki, little Suzuki Jeep on an A-frame and a fully enclosed trailer when we go for extended periods of time. Left hand side, fresh water filler. And the toilet cassette. Entering inside, the layout is double bed in the Luton over the cab, driving compartment, toilet on the left and shower on the left hand side, kitchen, and massive rear wrap round lounge. Absolutely amazing with big panoramic windows. Huge fridge. I'll go through it in a little more detail now. Very nice toilet and shower area. Shower has very good water pressure. Toilet has 20 litre cassette. Double bed up in the Luton, windows both ends, can open up for ventilation on those very hot nights and they've got louvers over the windows so you don't have to worry about rain if it rains in the middle of the night. Driving compartment is the cab. Four cylinder 3.3 litre naturally aspirated engine. 5-speed gearbox, 
235,000 kilometers. Coming back into the kitchen area, we've got a tracer, MPPT solar controller, and a battery monitor. Heaps of overhead lockers, storage, plenty of drawers, and cabinets underneath. Batteries underneath the bench. The two right hand batteries are for the truck, truck batteries, and the left hand one is the 120 ampere AGM deep cycle battery for the house. Very nice kitchen, very big bench. Water filter for drinking. Gas stove, four burner hobs. Grill. Big oven. Cooked many a roast in that oven. On the rear wall of the kitchen, we've got our hot water cylinder switch and mains power for when you are plugged into mains power. Moving back, microwave oven. Only uses operates off mains power, but we do use it for a bread bin and for storing munchies when we're not using it for a microwave. Cupboard and another drawer. Another big bench. Pots and pans covered. It's got a slide out tray so you can get to your pots and pans easily without having to get down on knees and dig dig deep. Hot water cylinder. Bit of storage in here that we use for storing toilet chemicals etc. Light out pantry. This is a massive lounge. Very, very good layout. This overhead storage lockers, cabinets, plenty of storage underneath the seats. The rear layout for the lounge is absolutely the best layout ever. In New Zealand, with our weather, we don't always have the best weather, so you can snuggle up and look outside these big panoramic windows at the view. We have a radio. Below the seat is the 80 litre fresh water tank. You can lift that swab up to get access to that uh, fresh water tank if you need to. On the 40 end of the lounge, you've got a television, free to wear box, another mains power switch, and the 12 volt power panel. Drawers down there and at the bottom, bottom behind this panel here is a diesel heater. Absolute game changer that heater. You can stay away in the middle of winter snug and dry without worrying about it getting cold. That heater is really magnificent.
linen cupboard. We use the two top shelves for linen and the bottom shelf for the paper, toilet papers and hand towels, tissues, serviettes and we always have a torch in there as well. That is a satellite finder for the satellite dish. It's in this cupboard with a satellite right dish raising a lower handle on the roof. This fridge is a 171 litre three-way fridge freezer. This fridge has only been fitted in since February so it's only about eight months old. It uh, runs on mains power when you're plugged into mains, gas when you're freedom camping or off-grid camping and 12 volts for when you're driving. 12 volts only works with the ignition switch on. The original camper when he first got it only had a 90 litre tank um, fridge in it. Putting in the big fridge absolutely changes your living lifestyle in this camper. Last but not least, is four vents that we have in the roof. This one we've had put in above the bed. That's for ventilation during summer and also to stop condensation. This is an original vent. This is an extra one that we've had put in. This is an electric fan vent. It can be used as an expel air when cooking and also make it go backwards and it'll draw air in during the hot summers to bring in ventilation. And a fourth original vent down the back. Which is not obvious, which we have done, is we've had the rear walls replaced. The original walls delaminated and got big bulges on them. These walls now are solid composite, eight mil resin and aluminium walls. They will never delaminate. Absolutely amazing. The awning is multi-adjustable. You can adjust it out either a, a short way like this to act as a porch to stop rain getting in the door or wind it right out to protect from rain or it's, when it's really hot and sunny to break you. Give you shade. be configured in two ways. It clips onto the side of the van or you can put the legs on the ground and use pegs and guy ropes to hold everything down. Absolute must have. I haven't got the guy ropes and pegs out for this demonstration, but recommended when you got the the poles out on the ground that you do tie it down. 